Now, before any cleaning is begun, I make several tests in inconspicuous areas to determine the best materials, uh, detergents, solutions, solvents for the painting that will remove the surface grime and the old varnish. Once that information is gathered, I can begin the process in earnest. So right there, I was using a wax paste to remove the built up surface grime. And once that's gone, I can use solvents to remove the old varnish. And as we start to see the old varnish removed, we can begin to see what the artist originally wanted. This beautiful skin tones and other delicate paint applications that were otherwise obscured by that brown and yellow varnish. I can begin the process of filling in the cracks and tears on the face of the painting so that I can begin the retouching process. Now using a putty, I will overfill the areas where there is missing paint and then once that putty is dry, I'll come back with Q-tips and cotton swabs and other tools to remove the excess because I want to make sure that I have an even smooth surface onto which I can apply the retouching pigments. With the fill in medium dry, I can apply an isolation layer of varnish to the painting. And there are many reasons to do this. Among them is to provide a barrier between my retouching and any future work and the original painting. And two, it allows me to see the colors better and see them as they will look once they're final varnished. And this is important because if I retouch according to the washed out, dried out colors, then when I put the final varnish on, the retouching isn't gonna match and I'll have to redo it. Now retouching, unlike painting, requires a different approach both in technique and materials. So instead of using oil paint, I'm using my Mary Restraro, which is a conservation grade paint that has no oil in it. And that's important because oil oxidizes over time and becomes permanent. This pigment will never be permanent. It can always be removed with the appropriate solvent. And as oil oxidizes, it darkens and changes color. Now this paint, because it has no oil, won't change color over time, thus keeping the retouching more accurate longer. And the other main difference between painting and retouching is that painting, you have the freedom to apply as much pigment as you want. Whereas retouching, we are really just focused on the areas where there are losses. And once the retouching is finished, the varnishing process can begin. In this case, I'm using a synthetic resin, ultraviolet stable, plasticized varnish designed for conservation. And this varnish will remain soluble for about 102 years in mild solvents. It will not yellow, it will not darken, it will not bloom with exposure to moisture, it will not fail like the old varnishes do.